Well, good afternoon, everybody. And uh, I do appreciate the opportunity to uh, present uh, a wonderful destination and listening to Kathy with her previous presentation with Seaboard. It's, uh, we are so looking forward to getting back out there and opening up. So uh, anyway, uh, I again, appreciate the opportunity. So as Ryan pointed out in the upper right corner, uh, we not only do Ireland as shown here with the main photos, but we also do Italy, England, Wales, beautiful Iceland, uh, as well as Scotland. And being a golfer, I'm very partial to that photo along with Brian. So anyway, here we go. Uh, we ha have been around since 1932. So this is our 89th year. Um, and we are technically part of the Irish government. Uh, the Minister of Transportation uh, with the Irish government oversees CIE. We are the tour division. Uh, when you go over there, you'll see the the, the city buses, that's the bus division, and they also oversee uh, the rail, uh, excuse me, uh, the rail division. So anyway, uh, we are technically part of the government. So as long as the government is working fine, so are we. But uh, being an Irish owned company, needless to say, we are the number one destination specialist to Ireland and Britain. But the main thing I always like to point out when visiting, not only with my travel uh, agent partners, but uh, when doing presentations as well, such as today, we have what's called the no optional extras policy. This is on, offered on our guided vacations or the motor coach tours. And what this means is that everything is included uh, with your tour price. So we're not gonna nickel and dime you during the course of a tour such as if uh, you want to have a wonderful Irish uh, dinner along with the performance, we're not going to charge you $50, for example, uh, to attend it. Everything is included. So that really is a cost savings measure because on average, couples will spend uh, on average about $80 per day on these optional side trips. So uh, please keep that in mind when you are uh, thinking about uh, traveling to one of our destinations. What's also important are, are the local guides and the drivers. Uh, so if you are taking a, uh, a tour uh, within the country of Ireland or Northern Ireland, Scotland, England, or Wales, you will have someone from that country, which really enhances the experience uh, for you when you travel with us. Over the years, we've had over 3 million happy travelers. And as you can see, our guest satisfaction rating is uh, very high, 95% uh, plus. So we're very proud of the fact. And again, the guys and the drivers, they, they're just terrific. And that's Dermot there on the left. And uh, just one of the wonderful uh, driver guys that we, we have with CIE. Now, since 1932, uh, this has been our forte, uh, our specialty, Ireland, Scotland, England, and Wales. And then a few years ago, because we've had so many uh, of our past guests uh, comment, you know, when are you going to a new destination, new country? So we had decided a couple of years ago to expand the horizons a bit and offer beautiful Iceland as well as Italy. But you know, today's focus is gonna be on the Republic of Ireland, uh, which is one of my favorites. So as you can see here, the portfolio that we offer, you know, again, being Irish owned, our focus will be Ireland. And as you can see, we offer 17 standalone itineraries uh, to Ireland. Now, Scotland has become uh, quite popular in the past few years, so we have uh, four Scotland-only tours, and then we get into what we call combination tours, and probably the most popular one is folks that want to do both Scotland and Ireland, and then as you can see with the portfolio, as you work down the list, we have a total of 34 itineraries. Now, we did have up to 59 uh, scheduled for last year, but uh, you know, 2020, that, that's a year I would just like to push you know, get rid of it. And so, but right now we have 34 tours to offer. And as time moves forward, we will be increasing the number of itineraries as we move along. So with the Republic, or excuse me, the island of Ireland, because uh, the, the island of Ireland consists of not only the Republic of Ireland, which most of us are familiar with, but also uh, Northern Ireland, which is part of the United Kingdom. But it is divided into five terrific regions. And so depending on your interests, uh, the Wild Atlantic Way has become extremely popular. Uh, this is where you're gonna find the Ring of Kerry, uh, the Dingle Peninsula, the Cliffs of Moher, as you work your way up north into Donegal. Uh, you have the Hidden Heartlands. And then as far as the history uh, with Ireland, uh, 
this is where you're going to find like in Dublin and the eastern part of the island, this is where you're going to find the stories and heritage sites uh, with this country. Uh, but then Northern Ireland has come out of the shadows recently. Uh, this is where uh, you're going to, as they say, a giant spirit with scenic landscapes. This is where you're going to find Giant's Causeway, uh, the glens of Antrim, uh, dark hedges, and then also when you're in Belfast, the opportunity to visit Titanic Belfast. So it's, uh, even though it's uh, small, it's roughly 340 miles from North Shore to South Shore and almost 300 miles east to west. Uh, it offers a variety of different interests for folks that want to travel there. So with, in experiencing Ireland, this is, I'm not going to get into all of these itineraries. I'm not going to uh, take the time. But uh, we, uh, as mentioned previous, we have 17 Ireland only tours. And you can see uh, with this chart, we have tours that range from five days all the way up to 15. Now, there are two itineraries that I'm going to highlight today. It's going to be the Ireland South Day Tripper, which is a new style of coach travel. And then probably the most popular itinerary that will encompass both the Republic as well as Northern Ireland. And at the very bottom there is the Jewels of Ireland. So as we move forward, I'll mention those. I had also mentioned combination tours uh, with Ireland and Scotland. We have five of those. And then for those of you that wish to visit, uh, let's say England, uh, as well as Ireland, we have the Taste of Britain and Ireland as well. So some full photo shots, and I love having these fun facts to offer too. Uh, this is the Cliffs of Moher, which is on the Western shoreline or the Atlantic coast of Ireland. Now the Cliffs of Moher are approximately nine miles long and they rise up to 700 feet at their highest point along the Atlantic coastline. And we offer this pretty much on every one of our itineraries. So don't feel like you'll be left out when wanting to visit this magical location in Ireland. Also, uh, the Fanad Head Lighthouse. Now, Fanad Head is one of the 12 great lighthouses. And what that means is you have the opportunity, if let's say if you're doing a private uh, driver or a self-drive vacation with Ireland, you have the opportunity to stay at these beautiful locations. Now, Fanad is located in Northern Ireland, and it's one of not just 12 great lighthouses, but uh, there are 70 lighthouses in total on this magical island. I just love the location and this photo is just, uh, just terrific. It gives you really a good idea of what the landscape is like when visiting Ireland. Also, uh, we have uh, all these beautiful little montage of photos here, you know, along with Guinness, I'm sure everyone has heard of Jameson, which is distilled in Ireland. That is a photo in the upper left of their Middleton, Ireland um, distillery. The upper right photo is the largest of the Aran Islands, which is about 14 miles off the coast of Galway Bay. That is Inishmore. The lower right photo is Sean's Bar. And Sean's Bar has the distinction of being the oldest pub in all of Ireland. It was established way back in 900 AD. And according to some historians, this could be the oldest pub in all of Europe as well. And for those of you that might be Star Wars fans, uh, the lower left photo is Skellig Michael. And this is where like the end of chapter seven of Star Wars and chapter eight, when uh, Luke Skywalker is found, it's uh, a, a remarkable sight. Now we do not take our guests out there because in the background, you can see a portion of the Ring of Kerry. Uh, Skellig Michael is about 10 miles off the coast of the Ring of Kerry, uh, but it is just an amazing feat what these monks did back in in the 400s. Uh, they built this monastery. And when we do take people around the Ring of Kerry on most of the itineraries, we do take you to the visitor center and they will have some ancient artifacts. We'll have a couple of videos, but it is just amazing feat of what these monks did uh, back in the day. The reason why we don't go out there is because uh, the seas can be just a wee bit rough as they say in Ireland. So in general, I uh, just wanted to show you who we are as a company. Uh, now, net, needless to say, our bread and butter is going to be our guided vacations, uh, our guided tours. These are designed for the solo traveler uh, up through the groups. We have small group departures on our coaches, which are capped at 26. As I mentioned previous, uh, we have itineraries ranging from five up to 16 days. 
But what's really nice with our guided tours, it's a hassle-free vacation experience. When you work with your Bon Voyage uh, travel agent, he or she will be happy to assist you. And in turn, we will assist the travel agent in putting together just a hassle-free experience because everything is going to be taken care of for you. Now, if you happen to have a group opportunity, which is a minimum of 10 people, uh, let's say if you're part of a, a golf group or a church member and you want to put together a religious thing group, we can do that as well. We offer both our brochure tours as well as custom. And it's surprising that our custom itineraries uh, are, it's a basically a 50-50 split. Custom itineraries are very popular with CIE. So we'll be happy to help you with that. We have a terrific private driver program. If the motor coach style of travel is not your forte, uh, please consider our private driver program, which I'll mention here in just a moment. Uh, these are designed for less than 10 guests. Uh, these are exclusive handcrafted uh, chauffeur guided vacations, and we can put something together for you. Uh, if you have an itinerary that you want to present to a Bon Voyage travel agent, and we can all coordinate and just put together just a terrific experience for you with our private driver program. We also have our independent adventure or our self-drive program. Now, moving forward, uh, we realize there's going to be a lot of folks that uh, want to get back out there and travel again. Uh, they might not want to do the coach travel. So what we're going to do with our self-drive program is we're going to offer two options for you. Our classic itineraries, which refers to the brochure tours that you'll see in our brochure, you can select from any one of our Ireland itineraries with all the planning taken care of, including preset accommodations. Or if you feel a little uncomfortable with the self-drive because you are driving on the, as they say, the proper side of the road, uh, we will even offer you uh, your own driver and guide. And so, which really makes it uh, more carefree and enjoyable for you. Now the traveler's choice that you see there, that's the other option that you can consider. And the traveler's choice is similar to the private driver program and, and the fact that this is a custom curated itinerary that you can put together. Uh, as an example, let's say there's two couples that want to do a golf uh, itinerary in Ireland. We would be happy to assist with you and uh, the Bon Voyage agent as well with putting this together, uh, including bed and breakfast, uh, manor homes, uh, castle stays, and this has become extremely popular. Please keep in mind this is offered in Ireland only uh, because of all of our other destinations, self-drive is strictly for Ireland currently. Some more beautiful photos. This is Calmore Abbey. Uh, this was a private residence until purchased in 1920 by Benedictine nuns who had escaped uh, the continent of Europe during World War I at more than 40,000 square feet with 70 rooms. It also has approximately six acres of gardens. And that's probably why a lot of people like to visit the Calmore Abbey is because of the beautiful garden setting. Uh, so this would be a great opportunity if you wanted to uh, kind of focus on a garden, a garden style itinerary, Calmore Abbey is a must. Here is our document package. And we are old school in the sense that you actually get paper documents instead of e-documents. And as you can see in the photo, what we're famous for is our famous backpack. Uh, every one of our guests will receive this package. So each guest will receive the backpack, a document holder, which is perfect for iPads, uh, two uh, bag strap, or excuse me, bag tags, uh, a luggage strap. And a couple of years ago, we added the adapters. So please don't worry about going out and purchasing an adapter when you travel with us you get the wonderful uh, rain poncho, which will come in handy sometimes because I like to tease people and say it's green for a reason over there. But I think what's really nice too are these, uh, these guide booklets. So get a little more familiar with the destination that you're about to join, uh, experience when you travel with CIE tours. A great photo of Guinness uh, located in Dublin. This is the St. James Gate, uh, Arthur Guinness, started brewing ales way back in 1759. And today, roughly 10 million pints per day are brewed. And I always would, do, when doing presentations, what's really surprising for people, the non, number one country of consumption is not Ireland. Now, granted, Ireland is a population of roughly four plus million. Uh, they alone will drink about 2 million pints per day. But the number one country of consumption is Nigeria. 
Uh, they even had to build a brewery uh, down there in the country of Nigeria. It's their national drink. And they, pretty, they drink pretty much about 50% of the amount of uh, uh, Guinness that is brewed per day. So an interesting fact with Guinness. What's really popular with our tours is the sheep, sheepdog trials. Now you might not think much of this, but this always ends up being one of the favorite uh, memories for folks that travel. Uh, these border collies, they're just amazing how intelligent they are and the ability of these, uh, the, the trainers, especially since we're focusing on Ireland. My first trip to Ireland, I had the top sheepdog trainer with his three border collies. Uh, just to show what they can do with a, a pack of sheep. So uh, please keep in mind that, please don't, do, not, do not overlook the fact that a sheepdog try, oh, big deal, dog, dog performing. It is truly amazing. You would really enjoy it. Another well-known uh, destination is good old Blarney Castle. Uh, this is where uh, you kiss the stone of eloquence or Blarney. And I'd like to point out too, now the castle's been around since 1446. And initially when they started doing kissing the stone, they would actually hang people over the edge of the castle and hold them by their ankles. But needless to say, don't worry, we do not do that anymore. They, you go up there to the top, you lean over backwards and you kiss the stone. And uh, it's truly an amazing uh, opportunity to experience as well. But also for those that don't care to go to the top of the castle, there's uh, the grounds around the area are absolutely stunning. Uh, just beautiful uh, to experience as you walk through. So this is one of the two tours that I wanted to highlight for you today. Uh, this is kind of a new style. Everyone thinks about a motor coach tour being pack, you know, you get to one destination, you unpack the next morning, you pack again. Well, this is our Ireland South day tripper. And this was going to start last year and it was booking uh, very well, very popular, but unfortunately we had to cancel due to the pandemic. But what this offers, we'd like to call it a hub and spoke style itinerary. You would fly into Dublin, you would be transferred to the beautiful village of Adair and the inset photo there of the Dunarvan uh, Arms Hotel. And what that uh, with that hotel location, you are actually there for five nights in a row. So you just have to unpack once and each day you go off to a different destination. So one day you go up to the Cliffs of Moher, return to uh, the hotel. Uh, the next day you might go over to Cove, uh, which is the last port of call for the Titanic. You can get a little train experience with that. Yeah, another day you get Killarney and Kenmare, another day you get Dingle Peninsula. But what's convenient as well, it's no more than a 90 minute travel time uh, to reach your destination. And then on the final day, you will be transferred back to Dublin uh, for a hotel stay there because it's for convenience purposes, because you would be traveling home on the following day. So again, this is the Ireland South Day Tripper. Uh, and we are with uh, our bookings moving forward, again, it's become extremely popular. So please keep that in mind, a beautiful seven day itinerary. Sleeve Lake Cliffs, uh, the highest successful sleeves, uh, sea cliffs, excuse me, in Europe reaching a height of close to 2000 feet, nearly three times the height of the Cliffs of Moher. You will find this along the wild Atlantic way. I've had the good fortune of uh, experiencing this a couple of times, uh, again, uh, Beautiful scenery and you just can't go wrong. As you can see with the map up there in the upper corner, this is located in the Northwest part of the Republic of Ireland. This is Giant's Causeway. And in all honesty, I had never heard of Giant's Causeway until I started with this company. But this, is, uh, this formation was uh, formed roughly 60 million years ago uh, with some 40,000 columns that some will uh, range up to 39 feet in height. This is one of two UNESCO heritage sites that you will find in Ireland. The other is the Bruna Boyne uh, burial ground uh, location in between Belfast and Dublin. I do have a photo of that uh, to show that a little bit, but this is located in Northern Ireland and it's called the Giant's Causeway because when you look at a map, not just Ireland, but also Scotland, uh, in southwest Scotland, there's roughly kind of like the same type of uh, rock formation and legend has it that giants were building a causeway uh, between the two islands. So uh, great, uh, again, another great location to experience. Now this is the other itinerary I wanted to highlight. This is probably the most popular Ireland uh, itinerary that encompasses both not just the Republic of Ireland, 
but the, uh, uh, gosh, I'm sorry, uh, the <laughs> Northern Ireland country, gosh, I'm having a hard time today, sorry. Uh, but this is for the tour highlights, it's a 14 day, you can also add an additional night in Dublin to make it a 15 day. But as you can see, you get an Irish night in Dublin, you visit Kylemore Abbey, Dingle, Clissamore, uh, for those of you that are familiar with the Lake Pottery, uh, the Sleeve Lake Cliffs, which I just showed, Giant's Causeway. Uh, very interesting experience with Titanic, Belfast, as well as Bruna Boyne. Now, with our custom private driver program, uh, just wanted to focus a little bit. This is for folks that just don't uh, feel comfortable with motor coach tours. We use Mercedes Benz vehicles. So, depending on the number of people that wish to do this, if it's a couple, we will use the sedan. We will accommodate all the way up to nine uh, guests. Uh, when you have 10 or more, that would uh, technically become a group. We are for this in Ireland, Britain, and new for this year, Iceland. So is the experience right? Yeah, you have the opportunity to go off the beaten path. You can travel at your own pace. This is great for the luxury traveler, golfers, families, and it's also perfect for the solo traveler with the private driver program. Again, real quick, uh, we offer our self-drive program in Ireland only. You can select from any one of our Ireland itineraries. Uh, you get a complimentary GPS navigation system along with a, a collision damage waiver. Everything is included. Uh, there's no hidden extra fees with it. You will know in advance what is not included, unlike the guided vacations where everything is. But uh, again, classic itinerary, you can even choose your, uh, we can even uh, provide you with your own driver guide. Uh, the Traveler's Choice, this is the custom itinerary that you can put together. Again, you have the opportunity to stay at B&Bs, manor homes, and castles. And this is great for families of all ages because with our motor coach tours, our age minimum requirement is eight with uh, self-driver, private driver. Uh, for those of you that wanted to bring a newborn, you're more than happy to do so. Titanic Belfast, this is not a museum because uh, there's no artifacts from the ship, but uh, Belfast was the shipyard where the Titanic was built. Uh, this is a wonderful experience. You could easily spend half a day. I had the uh, good fortune of spending a couple of hours and I've always been intrigued by, the, by Titanic. And it's just one of the favorite destinations and experiences that people, when they return, that I get a chance to talk to, they just love this experience. As you can see with the inset photo up in the upper left, they've even uh, rebuilt the grand staircase as well as the different staterooms. So you get an idea of what the ship was like. This is the other UNESCO heritage site. This is New Grange, one of the three burial sites in Bruna Boyne, uh, uh, built by a Neolithic family. These are even older than uh, the pyramids in Egypt. So another interesting uh, destination to experience as well. And then finally, uh, we do have a $150 pass guest credit. So for those of you that have traveled with us uh, previously, uh, please keep this in mind when you uh, look to travel with CI Tours in the future. Uh, this, you can combine this with any of the promotions that we might have at the time. But uh, again, a nice $150 guest credit that you can apply to your uh, future booking. And then we get a lot of questions, myself and my colleagues, you know, what are you doing moving forward? And what we're going to be doing, uh, as you can see with these bullet points, you know, the coaches are going to be sanitized often. Uh, the, the high touch areas will be uh, cleaned with disinfectant wipes, 100% airflow from uh, circulation from fresh air. We are going to offer more frequent stops, and this will facilitate more frequent hand washing with hand sanitizers. And just as important are the hotel properties that we'll be using uh, moving forward. The guest rooms will be disinfected thoroughly between the stays and the common areas such as uh, the lobby area, restaurant, lounge, if they are in the hotel, they will be continuously uh, cleaned throughout the day. But the, the priority, our number one focus is the comfort and safety for you, because uh, that's our priority when we have folks traveling with us as we move forward.